don't waste your prime. Your prime basically is the most important part of your very existence. The most important part of your life. Your prime is where you permanently and perfectly form your future. All right. Whatever foundation you lay in your prime is what you enjoy or what you suffer the remaining part of your life. So basically, there are a lot of things that you overlook, but in the long run, actually, you were wasting your prime. You'll be amazed that these things mattered or these things, in case you're in your prime right now, that they matter so you can actually fix them now. What are they? Number one, sleep. Sleep is a major destroyer of a future, a major destroyer of a vision, a definite major destroyer of your entire life if you let it creep into your life early. Sleep is one of the major sources of poverty. And definitely, I know you don't want to be poor. That's number one. Number two, don't waste your prime on movies, entertainment, fashion, lifestyle, you know, all those distracting and unrealistic things you see on the screen. When you see celebrities dress this way, they do these people are acting movies, they are actually carrying out their careers. They are doing their careers and making money out of your laziness, out of your slothfulness. Now you're giving attention to another man's hard work at your own expense of idleness. That's what you're doing. Then also, when you waste your prime on only trying to look good. You want to fix this hair. You want to do this makeover, uh, makeup and all. You want to wear these designer boots, sneakers, shirts, oh, whatever. You're not, you're not designers now. You would realize that you have rewound. In fact, as a matter of fact, you have stopped living for about 16 to 15 years before you would wake up. And then you start uh, asking questions. Why are you asking questions? You wasted your life with your own hands. You were easily carried away by the things that were unrealistic and are major distractions in life. Entertainment, movies, fashion, lifestyle, and all, all the paparazzi to see out there. Celebrity lifestyle and all. Don't let those things distract you. Number three, the internet or devices. I know someone who didn't have a job, all right, that needed to go to school. And she went to her uncle to ask for money to go to school. And the uncle said, okay, come to my office and get the money. When she got to the, to the uncle's office, the uncle was using an iPhone 6, all right? The girl came to see the uncle, the girl whose parents live in a room and parlor apartment, all right, struggling to feed her and her uh, four other siblings. She came into the uncle's office with an iPhone 13 Pro Max and an iPhone 12. Two iPhones, please. Just Can you just tell me what a young 200-level student is doing with, with two iPhones? And you would agree with me that these two phones cost way over a millionaire. And yeah, you come to an uncle who is using an iPhone 6 and asking him, uncle, please give me money to go back to school. The uncle looked at her. She, he was sharing with me. The uncle looked at her hands and said, how much are those phones? He said, oh, okay, it was a gift. So what, what did you do to merit those gifts? How did you come across those gifts? You bought them. And I know a lot of young people buy these things just to please and satisfy their ego. And they are lost for these, these material things. And he looked at her and told her, I was supposed to give you 50k but i will just give you 15k take and go to school go and sell one of these phones and help your parents leave the level they are in you are a selfish child those are his words to, 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 the, to the young girl a lot of young people are distracted you are in your prime and you are hunting after the latest device the latest samsung the latest iphone the latest techno whatever your devices you are very fond of there, there a time will come for all these things and you would you would get out of them you explore them because then you will to afford them because you have invested rightly i saw a young boy the other day who, who was being asked by an investor who does these street interviews and they asked the young boy what do you want to do the boy said what what are your passions the boy said okay well i want to be a fashion designer i want to do this i want to do that, I want to do that. and if i have this opportunity okay i have a space in my room and i cut this and i do that the boy didn't say anything about video games or pressing one phone or doing one thing or spending time on the internet he might just looked at the camera and said this boy is definitely going to be rich. He's going to employ you who is spending all your time on the internet right now and buying devices upon devices. That very boy will employ you tomorrow. And you would say no condition is permanent. Or, oh, God is not fair. God gave all of you equal opportunities, but you misplaced your priorities along the way. Number four, don't waste your time pleasing people at your own expense. Because whether I like it or not, <laughs> you're on your own. 
you need to protect yourself care for yourself same way you're caring for others when you tell people don't waste your time pleasing the your prime pleasing people they misunderstand it for becoming insensitive or being uncaring or being harsh or being selfish and mean no it means not none of these things it simply means that make you your priority all right make your success your progress your priority first then you can carry other things along number five don't waste your time having dumb relationships having uh, friends who would fill your head with lies in the form of compliments all right have live a carefree life you party you take drugs alcohol you smoke and all have sex and that is all about you no know, you know you're living for the moment forget about tomorrow tomorrow will take care of itself you know these vices can inflict irreparable damages not just in your body but in your mind and in your soul some never recover from them in the process of this kind of lifestyle all right keeping dumb relationships that are not productive they are not constructive don't waste your prime in having such relationships number six dating toxic men or women when you date a toxic man because you're in your prime you're carried away with his looks with his physique and everything and you know you're just infatuating all you care about is how you could have sex with him go out on dates go out on boat cruise you know go on vacations and all go and eat his yewu and chop chicken that is all you live for you're wasting your prime on toxic men or maybe a toxic woman who only cares about what she would eat and eat and eat and eat and how she would look nothing she offers nothing else to the table a lot of ladies wasted their prime by sleeping with lots of men and when they get to their 30s they start wondering where all the good men went you've already slept with them don't make a boyfriend out of your husband and don't make a husband <laughs> a boyfriend I, I i hope you get that and lastly don't waste your prime chasing after money i know someone in their mind has given me a very hot slap and i say hey are you okay what do you mean by that there's a difference with chasing after money and investing in yourself for the future some people misplace both and they go after money in such a way that the money becomes their god the money becomes the only goal so no matter what they need to do or uh, whatever comes their way they crush it as long as they can get that money when money becomes your god in that magnitude that is what i'm referring to all right so don't chase after money in your prime what you should do in your prime is investing in your character in your spirit in your mind in your body all right in your mental wellness then along with that simultaneously you are also investing in your career in your talents in things that would bring in money that would, so you can use to take care of yourself and protect all these values you have acquired along the way so that you'll be comfortable because i wouldn't advise you to go and marry one man's daughter and keep her inside her house to be using pounded uh, mortar to be pounding uh, this thing for you every day meanwhile there's pounder but if you can afford the pounder buy it for her don't make her pound so i'm not asking you to be poor or be broke in the name of preserving your prime no you can also be successful and you are not chasing after money instead money will end up chasing after you let's assume that you seen this video now you're no longer in your prime and you're having regrets oh i wish i would no there's no time for regrets no time sit up no time for regrets this is the time to revisit the drawing board re-strategize for the other remaining part of your life all right you, you can be 40 you can be 45 you can be 50 and that is when you had sense it is okay all right something i always say in all that getting get sense so it doesn't matter the time you got the sense just as long as the sense is coming to you for free now take advantage of it and say okay this is what i want to do i want to try this i want to try that what can i do now how can i make money what can i do with two hundred thousand and multiply it over a period of time you just have a plan just to strategize and i promise you and i promise you you'll be glad you took that bold step because it will work in your favor at the end of the day don't forget to like share drop your comments and subscribe i'll see you again in my next video